Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll quickly discuss Visionaire Cipher algorithm and implement it in Python. Visionaire Cipher is a method of encrypting alphabetic text using polyalphabetic substitution, which means that our message is going to be shifted according to the key of encryption. To get a better understanding of how it works, let's take an example. So let's assume that our message is toy and our key is ABC. So the idea behind this algorithm is that it determines the position of each letter of the message in the alphabet along with the position of each letter of the key in the alphabet. And then we're going to add um, each corresponding uh, message letter and key letter in order to get our cipher letter. So in this example right here, the A is actually the first key in the alphabet. So let's assume that it's of position zero since we are going to be counting zero based counting. So A is in position zero and B is at position one and C is at position two. So um, let's calculate our cipher text. So we're going to add, we're going to shift the T letter by zero, uh, zero numbers. So we're going to get T and then we're going to shift the O letter by one character so we're going to get P and then we're going to shift the Y by two characters then we're going to get A since we have Y and then Z and then it wraps around and we go and begin again from the beginning of the alphabet so we get A. So this is our cipher text right here. So uh, Let's just uh, visit the Visioner Cipher page in Wikipedia in order to um, have a look on our encryption and decryption formulae. So here is the encryption formula right here. So we're encrypting a letter MI. So we're going to add to this MI the KI, which is the corresponding key letter. And then we're going to take mod 26 since or the count of the letters in the alphabet is 26. Okay, so here we have our cipher letter. And this is the decryption formula. So what we're going to do is actually subtract the uh, the key letter from the cipher letter and then add 26 and then take our mod and here we go. We're back to our original message letter. Okay, so some notes um, about the visionary cipher is that the algorithm actually ignores the casing of the key and it ignores any characters other than the alphabet letters. The algorithm may preserve or ignore the plain text casing just according to the implementation and the key is actually repeated over the alphabetic letters of the plain text. So let's take this example. The plain text is a tachydon and the key is lemon. So we're going to have lemon just repeated all over again to fit the plain text length, just like that. Okay, so uh, let's now implement the visionary cipher algorithm in Python. We'll start by implementing the key padding method. So we're going to type diff underscore pad underscore key, which is going to take the plain text and the key. Okay, so uh, we're going to create a variable padded underscore key, which is going to be an empty string for now. And then we're going to create if an integer variable i is going to be equal to zero. Okay, so what we're going to do now is loop over the characters of the plain text. So for char in plain text, if char dot is alpha, so we're checking that this character is actually an alphabetic letter, then what we want to do is append this character to the padded key. So padded underscore key plus equal key of i mod len of key. Okay, so now that we actually uh, appended this 
character to our petty key, what we want to do is increment our I counter. Else, if this is not an alphabetic letter, then this might be a, uh, a special character, for example, a space or a number, then we're going to just append to the padded underscore key variable just an empty space because we're not going to actually encrypt or decrypt this um, non-alphabetic or uh, non-alphabetic letters yeah okay so uh, now we're done with our uh, pad key method so what we're gonna do is just return the padded underscore key and that's it now we'll implement the encrypt decrypt method which takes a plain text character a key character and the mode which is going to be either encrypt or decrypt as arguments and returns the cipher character so we're gonna type in here def underscore encrypt underscore decrypt underscore char which is going to take the plain text underscore char so the plain text character of course and the key underscore char and the mode which is going to be by default encrypt okay so first of all we're going to check if the plain text character is alphabetic character right so if plain text underscore char that is alpha then what we're going to want to do is get uh, is actually define the first alphabet letter in order to get um, you know the position of our character in the alphabet so first of all we're gonna assume that the letter is a small case letter so first underscore alphabet underscore letter it's gonna be equal to a small a and then we're going to check if plain text char dot is upper so if it's if it's an uppercase letter then what we're gonna do is actually override this first alphabet letter and assign it a capital A okay so now we have the first alphabet letter so now what we're gonna want to do is subtract the position of the first alphabet letter from the position of the um, the plain text character in order to get the position of the plain text character in the alphabet itself. So old underscore char underscore position is going to be equal to ord plain text underscore char, which actually returns the ASCII code of the plain text character minus the ord of first underscore alphabet underscore letter to get the ASCII code of the first alphabet letter. So this difference is going to result in the position of the character in the alphabet itself. Okay, so this is the old character position. So uh, uh, right now we want to get the key character position. So key underscore char underscore position is going to be equal to ord of key underscore char dot lower. So, uh, we're going to minus the ord of small a so by this we get the position of the key character in the alphabet okay so what we want to do now is check for the mode so if mode is equal equal to encrypt then what we want to do is determine the new character position by applying the formula we've just um, seen so new underscore char underscore position is going to be equal to old underscore char underscore position oops position plus key underscore char underscore position right and then we take the mod of 26 okay so now we get the new position else if the mode is decrypt then what we're gonna do is um, just uh, change the formula position is going to be equal to old char position minus key 
underscore char underscore position plus 26 and then we're gonna take mod 26 right so we get the back the original message okay so right now we just want to return the character itself which means that we are going to to add the first alphabet to the new character position and then get the character of this ASCII code. So to get the character of an ASCII code, we use the SHR method, and then we're gonna give it our ASCII code, which is gonna be the new underscore tor underscore position plus ord of first underscore alphabet underscore letter. And here we go. Okay. Okay, so otherwise if the plain text um, character is not an alphabet letter then what we're gonna do is just return the um, plain text character as is okay so now we are done with our encrypt decrypt character method what we're gonna do is implement the encrypt method which is gonna take the plain text and the key as arguments and returns the cipher text so we're gonna type diff encrypt and then we're gonna give it the plain text and the key. Okay, so the cipher text is gonna be equal to just in an empty string for now. We're gonna get the padded key. So padded underscore key is gonna be equal to underscore pad underscore key and we'll give it the plain text and the key. Okay, so now we have the padded key and we have the plain text. So what we're gonna do is loop over both of them and call the underscore encrypt underscore decrypt character method. So for plain text underscore char, comma, key underscore char in zip, and then we give it the plain text and the padded underscore key. Okay, so our cipher text is going to be equal we're going to append actually to the cipher text so cipher text plus equal underscore encrypt underscore decrypt underscore tor and then we give it the plain text and the uh the plain text character and the key underscore character okay and uh finally we're going to return of course the cipher uh, text and we are done with the encrypt method finally we'll implement the decrypt method which takes the cipher text and key as arguments and returns the plain text of course so def decrypt it's gonna take the cipher text and the key right so the plain text is gonna be equal to an empty string for now and we're gonna get the padded underscore key, which is gonna be equal to underscore pad underscore key of the cipher text and the key itself, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is loop over the cipher text and the key or the padded key and call underscore encrypt underscore decrypt underscore character method, giving it the uh, cipher text character the key character and setting the mode to decrypt. So for cipher text underscore char and key underscore char in zip cipher text and padded underscore key plain text plus equal underscore encrypt underscore decrypt underscore char and we give it the cipher text char the padded or the key char and mode is equal to the crypt and finally return the plain text right okay now let's use the methods we created above to take an input from the user encrypted then decrypted so plain text is going to be equal to input enter a message and then the key is going to be equal to an input, enter a key, 
right? And then the cipher text is going to be equal to encrypt plain text and key. And then decrypted decrypted underscore plain text is going to be equal to decrypt of cipher text and the key. And let's print them out. So I'm going to use print. Uh, I'm going to use string formatting. So cipher text cipher uh, text just like that. And then here decrypted plain text and here decrypted plain text. Okay, so now we're done. Let's test it out. So I'm going to type in the terminal Python main pi. So let's enter a message, maybe Basil tick and the key may be tutorial. Oops, we have a type right here. Okay, so this is is alpha. Okay, let's run again. Basil tick tutorial. And here we go. So this is our ciphertext right in here. And this is the decrypted message right in here. So that's it guys for this tutorial and uh, see you in the next one.